Hi everyone, welcome back to another Dwarf Fortress video. I had some people ask about how the minecart logic system worked for the minecart shotgun that I built. Uh, rather than explain that perhaps in too much detail, I thought it might be more fun for other people to learn by doing. So in this tutorial I'm just going to present you with uh, an example of how you can use minecart logic to make your own fortress systems work a little better. So right in the middle of the screen you can see all the computing that's involved in my minecart logic for the uh, shotgun. But don't worry about that too much, we're going to build some new material. At the bottom of the screen there's a long corridor, and we can imagine that's the entranceway to our fortress, with the left side being down ramps into the body of the fortress, and on the right side there being up ramps. And what we're going to try and do is build a bridge that will automatically go up when any enemies uh, cross the pressure plates and this bridge will um, stay up until we choose to um, open it again. So before talking about um, gears and minecarts and what have you, I thought I'd have a quick chat about uh, powering these systems. In this fortress I have a uh, half dozen odd windmills there, or well, actually closer to ten by the looks of it, and uh, they are all connected underground to uh, a central power system. So if you haven't built a windmill before, the easiest way to do it is at the ground floor level, just channel a hole and into the um, build um, machinery menu you will find windmills and then you place the center of the windmill over the hole and then a level down you need to build um, gears underneath each windmill and this will connect the windmill to the power system you're building and in this case all the gears are then um, connected to each other using horizontal axles and then those horizontal axles are connected to all back to one gear in the center right and if I go down a level there's a hole beneath that gear so it's another channeled out space and then a floor below there is a, a gear which connects from that rightmost um, system all the way left across the screen and is powering the um, system right now so you're going to need one or two windmills probably just one for this project you want to connect it vertically down to a kind of a machine floor so you might have to channel a couple of holes down through a couple of levels um, and use gears between those levels is really the easiest way to connect the system together and gears transmit power in all six axes so now you've got a system like this you're going to need to look at expanding it a little and um, moving it across so you can uh, moving power around so you can power your own particular setup so i'm going to start designating that now so first things first, let's build up, bring up the um, build menu. So build, shift M, so capital M, and we're going to look at building a horizontal axle. So the horizontal axle, I'm just going to make it a short one. It's going to be a little bit wide across here, and uh, at the end of it we're going to put a gear. So we'll have a horizontal axle. It takes a little bit of power to, to power, but not too much. And then I'm going to build a gear, and the great things about gears is they can be triggered by the systems. So the first axle's organized uh, and so designated. Let's set up the system we're going to use for um, the rollers and the minecarts and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing is let's drop a gear assembly next to this um, powertrain. We're going to be using this gear assembly as a toggle. Horizontal axle. Uh, it has S to make it go vertical. Only going to be a couple of pieces long, not very big. So I'll place that. And at the top of it, another gear assembly, and another gear assembly. And now the doors are going to turn up and start building that pretty soon. And what will happen is that when they're complete, power will be transmitted through all of those axles and gears. Um, and then we're going to yeah, need to start building the, uh, the actual minecart logic section. So my doors are busy building now, and that'll come together pretty quickly. It's probably a good idea to have four or five dwarfs that are full-time um, engineers, or at least have engineering as a job they're capable of doing, because you're going to be doing quite a lot of machinery and cooking up of stuff when you start getting into this. So that system should be just about all built. Don't need to watch it be built, but it's kind of fun. The next thing is we're going to build a wall. We need to build one at each end of the system to prevent mine carts from derailing. So B, Shift C, and the wall. I'll place one there, and one there. So with the walls designated it's time for us to build the track. So if we hit um, D, Shift T, we can use the cursor and specify a length 
four long of track and hopefully pretty soon we'll see our doors run along and while we're here we might as well build these uh, levers we're going to need to toggle the system into the state we want to start with I like to build the levers directly next to the gears that I'm going to turn on and off it helps me, me remember where they are so B um, Shift T for traps, L for lever and just plop them directly above and then one below these these toggle gears and now we have to wait a little bit the next thing is rollers so we're going to use B and then M or B and then shift M and scroll down to rollers and the first roller is going to go from north to south and be placed at the top of the track make it out of some mechanism and some rope and the second roller I print S to make it south to north put it at the bottom of the track from there we need a pressure plate um, so we go back out to build control shift T sorry B shift T pressure plate shift T to set it for um, track and then we're going to place it directly below the topmost roller and we use a mechanism and off they go so pretty soon my drawers will start noodling around while we're at it I'm going to build a bridge at the bottom so this is going to be the kind of bridge that we imagine will block our entrance way so I'm going to place it there I'm going to say that it raises to the left so this is all B, G the controls for bridge A to set raise to the left and it's going to be made out of ooh, let me have a look why not make it out of adamantine why not it's going to be an awesomely strong bridge at the same time i want to build some a ton of pressure plates that are going to be the triggering mechanism so back at the b shift t pressure plate i place them way over towards the right just to ensure that my enemy creatures that come in have enough time to cause the bridge to trigger and don't make it inside the fortress i'm going to press c for trigger on creatures and then i got to press E a lot to reduce the minimum weight that'll trigger them. There's probably some ideal limit where you just leave it at like 10,000 or 9,000, but I'd set it right down to zero. And then I'm going to place this and repeat this uh, several times to uh, three times to cover the width of my hallway. So a little time has passed and I have my pressure plates built uh, in the entranceway. Um, three of them covering the entrance way so that any creature that comes in will cause a triggering event. The second thing is that the pressure plates and the rollers, uh, or the pressure plate and rollers, are now built on the uh, minecart logic system. The next thing is to hook up uh, the, the levers on the system. So we had the task of A linked to gear, and I'm going to choose the adjacent gear assembly. And that takes a couple of mechanisms, and for the next one, a, A, and that gear assembly. This will mean that I can uh, set the system up to be toggled off to start with, which is what we prefer. The next step is to connect each of these gear assembly, sorry, each of these pressure plates here with the very topmost assembly, that one there. This is to create the on effect and you'll you'll understand a bit more about this when we see it running so with these built um, Q over the pressure plate add link to assembly and the, the very last most one should probably be about it and then just repeat this for the next one and then the very last one So now what will happen is that anything triggering these pressure plates, any enemy creature, will cause the topmost gear to toggle. What we'll still do is it's going to be set to the off state. So when it toggles, it'll turn it on. That'll cause the rollers to push south. And then uh, the pressure plate will be filled with a minecart, which you'll see briefly. So the dwarfs are currently adding gears and bits and pieces to the system. I've told them to pull the levers when they've attached the uh, levers to the powering gears. And as you can see on the new system we've built, the topmost gear has been switched off by pulling that lever. 
um, gears toggle, so any signal sent to them will toggle them between off or on states. Now what we need to do is set up our routes, and the routes are going to define where the minecarts are placed for our system to work. So the first thing to do is to press H, R for new route, N for name, and I'll call it entrance top. I just need to place the stop right on the top roller in the system. So right there, press S, press enter, and remove the conditions. We don't need any conditions. Press V. I'm going to chuck a gold minecart on there because I'm rich. And now we need to define another route, and it's going to sit right between the bottom roller and the pressure plate. So again, R for root, N for name, entrance bot. So press S for stop, place it right between the pressure plate and the roller, XXX, X, X, then V, and choose another minecart. Our system is almost ready to go. What we don't have yet is the connection between the pressure plate on the minecart track and what we want to trigger to be set on. So let's sort that out now. We want to connect it up to that bridge so that when the system triggers, the bridge is held open. So A for action, B for pressure plate, bridge, and we're going to add it to the adamantine bridge. So now the doors are going to hook this up. So everything is now connected. And we only have a couple more steps to really look at. So first of all, really important, is use K and look around on the minecarts. We need to forbid them using F. If they're not forbidden, what happens is when they get moved by our system, dwarfs will come along and place them back where they think that minecarts should go at the track stops. And this will really mess with things. So with them forbidden, we can now test our system. So the first test is we can activate that top gear. And if I pull this lever, and I can pull it twice, and I'll send in two orders, um, a door should come zipping along. And in fact, if you caught it, it was pretty quick because I'm using Fast Dwarf, which is a DF hack uh, extension. Um, he activated the gear, um, the roller pushed the top minecart into the bottom, and then nudged it, the bottom minecart, to the very bottom of the system. And what's happened is that the um, minecart has landed on a pressure plate and the adamantine bridge has been raised. That bridge will then stay up regardless of whether any more uh, bad guys would step on those three pressure plates in the hallway because all that would happen is when they step on those pressure plates that top gear activates, there's nothing on it, so you know nothing will change. And we can turn the system off by activating the bottom gear. So if I add a couple of pressure plate pulls to the system here comes a dwarf. I'm going to step through it. He's going to pull the lever, and the pressure plates will be unactivated because the minecart's going to knock into it. And now, some ticks later, the minecart pressure plate will pop up, and the bridge will then lower again. So that's how we could reset it. And I'd probably put a lever in some central meeting room, the, the safe spot, and have that lever connected to that bottom gear. So this design is what's been called a Newton's Cradle design, and it is available on the wiki. You can look it up there under Minecart Logic, which is a page I authored with uh, a user called Bloodbeard, who is the person who originally put together the best thread on uh, Minecart Logic, and uh, he sort of um, prompted me to come up with this design, which is kind of a misinterpretation of one of his ideas. And, okay, there we go. Don't know if you saw it, it's happened really fast. The two of those um, pressure plates are triggered. You can see they're a lighter color than the very top one. So at the very top of the screen there, you can see that the minecart system has already changed state. The rollers activated very quickly. And now, hopefully... So I hope that's been... Uh, sort of an interesting introduction to minecart logic. Um, if you would like to know a little bit more, I can talk next about a system whereby um, we have retracting spears are activated and uh, that'll all be triggered off this, the same system. Machinery is fun, so why not? So let me know in comments if that would be something you'd be interested in seeing and I'll do a follow-on video.